What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I want to take a look at the future of software engineering, and more specifically, the 2020s, the coming decade. Because it's no secret that the tech industry right now has been going through a bit of a rough patch, kind of a correction, more like a complete recession, the tech bubble has popped, the golden era of the 2010s for software engineers is over, but so what does it mean for the coming decade? Are software engineers just going to be like completely down bad? Is it going to be really all like gloomy grim? No, I don't think so. I think that things are going to rebound. And actually, I think that for three certain types of software engineers, three specializations of software engineers, it's actually going to look very bright, the 2020s. So let's dive into these three specializations. The first one is blockchain engineering. If you've watched a lot of my videos, you know that it's no secret that I'm super bullish on blockchain, crypto, Web3. I've been super bullish about this space ever since I got into it back in 2017, and I truly think that the 2020s are going to be the transformative era for the blockchain industry. I think that blockchain technology, which itself is transformative, has finally been accepted during the year you know, 2020, 2021 as something that is here to stay. You see tons of big tech companies and banks and just existing industries that are adopting blockchain, adopting Web3. And I think that the 2020s is where this you know, field is going to really blow up. So if you're a blockchain engineer, if you're interested in blockchain engineering, now is a perfect time to get into it. And by the way, as luck would have it, we just recently launched Blockchain Expert on my company Algo Expert, an all-in-one platform for you to learn blockchain development. Check it out at algoexpert.io slash blockchain. We're currently running a Cyber Monday sale, so you can take advantage of that. If you're watching the video after the sale is over, you can always use the promo code CLEMCLEM for a discount on the platform. Blockchain engineering, I think it's going to be bright in the 2020s. The second software engineering specialization that I think looks extremely promising for the 2020s that is going to go through a huge growth phase is machine learning slash AI. Now, to be clear, I think that the 2010s were already a pretty good decade for machine learning and AI. After all, there was a lot of hype around ML AI during the 2010s. But I think that most of that hype and most of the developments that happened in MLAI during the 2010s were research focused. In other words, it wasn't really applications of ML and AI for consumers. It was more just doing research to progress in this field. You had some really big companies that were able to take advantage of it, companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, that were able to use ML to increase you know, conversion rates and uh, train giant data sets, blah, blah. But the end consumer, you and I, we didn't really experience applications of ML directly. Now, in the last year or so, there have been a lot of sudden you know, companies and products that have popped up that are direct applications of ML AI, things like assistants that help you write code or that help you write actual English or image generators. And I think that we're just going to see more and more and more of this over the next year and over the next decade. We're probably going to start to see actual robots, like for example, the Tesla robot that are going to be you know, genuine like ML AI applications where you have robots interacting with human beings, blah, blah, blah. And I just think that it's going to be a very exciting decade for machine learning. So if you're interested in machine learning, or if you already are in machine learning, good for you. The third and final software engineering specialization that I think is going to have a very good decade in the 2020s is one that I'm not really sure how to call, to be honest. It's like software meets hardware. I'm not talking about actual hardware engineering, I'm talking about software engineering applied on hardware. So things like you know, Internet of Things, which is ironically something that I worked on at Google. I worked on the Google Cloud Platform product called Internet of Things. But back then when I worked on that in you know, 2017, 2018, 2019, it kind of felt a little bit 
too early. We saw a lot of these, you know, hardware software applications in the 2010s, like Amazon Alexa or Google Home or, you know, smart rings, uh, like the ring doorbell or smart vacuum cleaners, like the Roomba vacuum cleaner. I think that's what it's called. But overall, like, it doesn't feel like it has become as you know, pervasive as it could be. And I just genuinely think that in the next decade, we're going to start to see smart everything. Like every single household is going to have smart microwaves, smart, you know, desks, smart anything, smart glasses. You're going to start to see VR, AR kind of integrated in everything. And so here I'm kind of bundling VR and AR in this whole hardware, software engineering thing. Uh, cars, you know, Tesla has really shown the car industry that while cars might be hardware at their core, you can actually turn a car into more of a software company like Tesla has done with Teslas than a hardware company. And so I think that that will be an extremely exciting industry or subfield of software engineering in the next decade. I'm not entirely sure how you get into that. You know, perhaps Algo Expert, we should look into releasing hardware experts soon. But um, I think it's going to be exciting. And if you have the chance to work on something like that, then you know, probably take it, whether it's at a company, uh, a new company that you could work at or at an existing company and they have a team that's working on you know, ha hardware products that use software. I think that would be a great opportunity. So these are the three subfields that I think are going to be very promising for software engineers in the next decade, blockchain, ML, and hardware. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What are other specializations that are going to be exciting in the 2020s that I might have missed? I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content. Instagram if you like pictures, and I will see you in the next video.